As we gather for another morning moments with Jesus, as always, I pray that this morning finds you blessed and rested. I want to read to you this morning from Psalm 126 and verse number 2. Often when I spend a little time with Jesus in the morning, I often try to reflect on the day before some of the lessons that maybe God has shown me, some of the things that I've seen or experienced, people that I've encountered, and what can be learned from that. And then I try to apply those things the next day in my life. In Psalm 126 and verse 2, the Bible says, Then was our mouth filled with laughter, and our tongue with singing. Then said they among the people, The Lord has done great things for them. Yesterday as I was out in our yard and walking around, I heard a sound coming from the other side of our house. And as I approached and walked around the side of the house, I saw a wonderful sight. It was my wife and my granddaughter playing together in the yard. And the entire air was filled with laughter. And I can't speak for you, but there are few things in life that sound as sweet as a child's laughter. And as I sat there and just kind of took a mental glimpse of that moment, the Lord began to speak to me and said, you know, you are my children. And it is a great joy for me to hear your laughter. The Israelites had been in captivity. They had been in mourning. They had hung their harps upon the willow trees because they couldn't sing the Lord's song in a strange land. But now they had been brought out of all of that. And it says their mouth was filled with laughter. As I watched my wife and granddaughter and the laughter that just filled the air, I noticed that there was something absent as well. There was no grief. There was no worry. There was no concerns about life problems. There was simply laughter. A merry heart, the Bible says, does good like a medicine. A medicine is designed to heal the body. It's also designed to maintain the body. So as I think about that this morning, I think about the fact that as we grow older, become adults and more mature, take on the cares and burdens of life, we should never forget how to laugh. We should never forget the joy of a child's laughter because it does something to our spirit. It's contagious. It lifts other people's spirits. But it also keeps at bay all of those things that concern us in life. So my prayer over you today is that you would return to laughter. Don't take life so serious that you forget the joy of laughing. Father, we pray this morning and we are mindful that we are your children and how you desire for us to be filled with joy and laughter. Give us a childlike heart, Lord, that we never forget that we are free. And if we are free, we are free indeed. And that means we are free to have joy and yes, even laughter. Lord, I pray this over your church body today. I pray this over your people. Thank you, Lord, for giving us the privilege of being your children. And may we fill your throne room today 
with laughter. Pray you take a little time today to just take a little time and spend some time with Jesus. Be safe, be strong, and be blessed. Be a person that loves to laugh and have joy and spread that to as many people as you can because it says here that when their mouth was filled with laughter and their tongue was song, the Lord, the people around them said the Lord has truly got done great things for them. May it be the same for us. Lord's will, we'll see you back here again tomorrow. Until then, I pray you have a great day.